Hello my lovelies, this is Sims Fowl and welcome to episode 15 of the Sims 4 Vampire Amazon series Generation 2. When we left off in the last episode, winter was coming to an end and we came onto the first day of spring over the machinima. So we had that go on and I'm jumping into this episode straight after that. Oh, when, Cynthia, are you going to have this baby? She's been holding on to this baby, her first baby for dear life, for how many episodes now? I have no clue. And she's just not having it. I'm hoping this episode is going to be the episode where she pops. But if she doesn't, I apologize. I know every episode I've been jumping in and saying, oh, she should be having her baby, like, soon. She should be having her baby soon. And she hasn't. But I'm hoping this is going to be the episode where we have the newest addition to Generation 3. Also, we, um, I checked the family thingamajiggy relationship tab, and guess what? Persephone is finally a toddler. So if we get a chance this episode, I do want to call her over to the castle so that we can see her, visit her, see how she's doing, what she looks like. I gave her a little bit of a makeover. She looks super cute and kind of scary. So you guys will see when you meet her, but she is a silly toddler, which was quite cute and interesting. I hope she keeps that innocence despite her physical appearance when she's older. But I'm really, I feel like she got some of her father's harsh features, but uh, we'll have to see how that turns out. As you guys know, I don't make an extreme effort to keep all my vampires beautiful per se. If they end up beautiful, oh, that's just amazing and I feel like I've been lucky so far. But I don't go ahead and actually change, um, like give them plastic surgery and cast basically. I don't change how they look from um, what they were born like. So if they end up looking a little bit questionable, well, it just adds to the challenge, okay? Just adds to the story and the drama and all the challenges they may face in a society that is somewhat based on beautiful women. So we'll have to see what happens. But I just came back from Simple Bliss's latest Hippie Harvest livestream and it was so much fun. If you guys haven't already watched it, I recommend going and watching it. We talked about religion, namely Amazon religion. We talked about dying cats, which was kind of sad. And uh, we talked about food. In the middle of the live stream, I felt like eating something. So I just went ahead and made some mini buttermilk pancakes with Smarties. And I was eating it with chopsticks while I was watching the live stream. It was very fun. It was very fun. So, oh yeah, also at the end of the live stream, Safi Sims, I think, said... Oh my gosh, Cynthia's about to go into labor. Okay, while this is happening, the it was the dancing. The dancing made her go into labor. Safi Sims said that she found some uh, medieval, oh my goodness, in labor, what do I do? What do I do? She said, Safi Sims, I'm so sorry. She said that she found some medieval CC uh, for the computer. So she found a printing press that is used or is the medieval version of a computer and I went ahead, found it straight after the live stream, downloaded it and uh, it is in my game. I haven't tested it yet because I just jumped in and started recording but hopefully we can pop it down in the castle and finally my vampires can go ahead and do things computer related like write stuff. How cool would that be if we got the scholar to actually be able to write things in game? Like that would be so cool. So we can now do that and I feel so much better, so grateful. Thank you so much, Safi Sims. You don't even know how you've improved our lives. Like you are doing important work, darling. Very important work to the Amazon community. But okay, since Cynthia is finally in labor, let's go ahead. I need to do what I do all the time, which is turn off autonomy. Otherwise, these ladies won't listen. We need to move them over here to the birthing chamber. So we're going to have Cynthia come up here. We're going to have Morgana make her way over here. She is supposed to be um, on standby in case anything goes wrong like it did last time. I'm pretty sure for Ophelia's birth she was having some problems. So Morgana went ahead and gave her some cereberries. Not cereberries, gutsberries I think to make her feel a little bit confident about the delivery. So the queen's going to come here. Queenie, come on. Come on, Queenie. Let's go. Queen's gonna come here. Queen's gonna light all the candles. Queenie, I wanted you to actually come here and light the candles. Yes, yeah, silly. Okay, and then we're gonna have 
Oh yeah, I forgot, Lilith can fly as a bat. So she's coming over here. We've decided that the bat form sort of thing is going to be the scholarly power. Hopefully Cynthia has a girl. If she doesn't, I will be so distraught. But okay, everyone, it, it would be nice if you could face the mother. Face the mother, please. Okay, let's move them. And oh my goodness, the time has come, guys. The time has come. And let's go ahead and get Cynthia to have her baby. Lady Cynthia Ronarain, Generation 2 Warrior, is about to have her very first baby. Hopefully it is a girl. If it's not, we shall be distraught and it should be the first boy of the Generation 3. But let's see. <gasps> it's a girl! I'm so excited. Okay, Lady Cynthia Ronarain just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? <laughs> look at her face. Okay, let's have a look at the names list. You guys gave me some really awesome names um, this time around. And also, I had names from the last season. And I think the name that I am going to choose is... You guys, some of you might not like this, but I think it's actually very cool. I'm going to name her Ursula. And this name was given to me by Aurora Maiden, who I think is Safi Sims. She's changed her name a billion times, so I don't remember, but I think it's Safi Sims. But Aurora Maiden is the, the person I have written down in my list. But I'm going to name Cynthia's baby girl, Ursula Ronarain. Ah, I'm so excited. Uh, wait, Sala. Ursula. There we go. Ursula, welcome to the family. I'm so excited. <gasps> she looks so cute. I'm assuming she's going to be Cynthia's color in skin because I remember when Cynthia was born, she was that dark as well, but she ended up lightening up. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I think Cynthia, yeah, the person that she got with, which we don't have right now because I think after she got pregnant, I went, okay, tend to the baby. I think after she got pregnant with Ursula, I went ahead and I actually like uh, deleted the mail like I got rid of him and I replaced him with a bunch of other mails from the gallery and your submissions so and I don't think he was darker than Cynthia he was lighter than her so I'm pretty sure all the children when they're born the the skin color like the spectrum it's between the mother and father um, and since Cynthia was like um, yeah she was, that's as dark as her skin gets. I think the baby skin is also going to be, is light, going to lighten up when she ages up into a toddler because that's what happened with Cynthia. Yeah. But still, oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if the baby's going to look just like Cynthia because Cynthia looked a lot like her mother. Like Lady Kali, she looks a lot. Cynthia looks a lot like her. So, ah, oh, that's so exciting. Okay, since she is done, let's go ahead. And we did say, I think that we should get the mothers to open up a present after they have the the child. Um, just to, like, you know, as a reward or something. But I think she sabotaged the present. I think she pranked herself last time. Yeah, see, she didn't like it. Because when I was making the machinima, <laughs> there was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. Jeez, I'm pretty sure she came up here. Um, and she actually, she, you sabotage yourself, honey. Don't even complain. You sabotage yourself. I don't want to save. I want to put autonomy back onto full. Wonderful. Okay, this is so exciting. We've had an amazing run with these ladies, but now I'm kind of scared because uh, we might ha be having boys because we've had two girls so far. It's not like every birth is going to be a girl. You're going to have boys to balance that out. So it's just, you know, I wonder about who's going to have the boy first. Is it going to be the queen? Is it going to be Morgana? Or is it going to be Lilith? I have no clue. But Cynthia, you have done brilliantly. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for adding another little baby warrior to the family. And uh, I think what I would love, what day is it? We have got... Yeah, okay, she's aging up on Tuesday. Ursula's aging up on Tuesday. Death Fest is coming up the day after Ursula's birthday. Okay, that's pretty cool. Death Fest. I think for Death Fest, we should definitely go get the ladies over to um, Newcrest Embassy. And we should go and visit the... Whatchamacallit? I think we should go visit the Honor Grounds. That would be pretty cool. And even Traders Rest. We could do both of those. So, that would be pretty cool. 
but I kind of feel like they should celebrate, but at the same time, I kind of just want to have a little bit of a hangout. Maybe we should throw a party. Do you think we should throw a party? I think the queen is going to throw a ball. Why? Because we just had a birth. And yes, we didn't have a ball when Ophelia had her daughter, and that's kind of sad. But we're still figuring things out. And I feel as though, not a holiday event, but we should have a ball right now. Why? Because Cynthia had a baby, and Cynthia is one of the main ladies who's staying at the castle in the coven. So if the warrior had a baby, you should throw a ball. Or should we not throw a ball and only throw a ball whenever the queen has a baby? Actually, I feel like that's more accurate. Maybe we should have a ball, like a, c a celebratory ball, every time the queen has a baby. But we still want to go ahead and I wanted to invite over... Ophelia and Persephone so that we can hang out with them and um, you guys can see what Persephone looks like in a little bit more detail. I think that would be quite nice and quite fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at Cynthia. She's got so much flipping energy. Okay, it is 12 p.m. I don't know if they'll be able... Oh no, look at the snow! Ah, the snow! The snow is all melting away. I'm sad. Oh, the snow is so beautiful, but it's all melting away. Oh, oh no. Oh, jeez. And all the flowers look very, um... Oh, there we go. You guys haven't seen the castle without the snow, have you? Well, here you go. <laughs> this is the castle without the snow. It doesn't look as colorful and as lively right now. Like, you can see the roof and stuff, but... The plants all look dead because it's winter onto spring. Once we get into summer or the end of spring, then the flowers will probably look more bright, brilliant, and beautiful, but uh, yeah, there we go. That's the castle. <gasps> Baby Persephone's here. Oh wait, no, this is not what I want. <sighs> Persephone, we need someone to grab the child and run inside. <laughs> Let's, uh, actually we can just call her over. Maybe she'll listen, is she gonna listen? Darling, the queen is calling you. Come, come child, come child. Oh, she's so cute. Just wait till you see her. Is she gonna come inside? Persephone? Oh, she's trying. Can she already walk? Actually, I think in The Sims 4, toddlers can already walk. Because I've been playing The Sims 3 quite a bit. And you have to actually teach the toddlers to walk in Sims 3. But okay, let's have a good look at our little baby girl. Look at her, she's so cute. This is Persephone. She's making a bit of a face, so you can't exactly see. And she's not in the best of moods. But this is her. Isn't she adorable? She's got her mother's eyes. And I do have CC default eyes in my game. That means every single toddler, even if they're not vampires, all get vampiric eyes. But I'm hoping that because she is actually a vampire and her parents are vampires, that these are the eyes that she is inheriting. Even if they have normal eyes though, they probably won't show until they are children. So I don't know, this could be her eye, this could not be her eye, but she is super cute. That is all I know. Look at her, she's adorable. Well, Queenie, she's checking the taller. Why don't you go ahead and pick her up? She's so cute. Let's pick up the toddler. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's miserable. Why is she sad? I don't know why this child is sad. And my game is not pausing. Game. Well, she's paused. Nobody else is paused. My game's glitching. Okay, now it's paused. Jeez, that was scary. But look at her, isn't she cute? She's adorable. I like the black hair. But she had, maybe she doesn't. Maybe I was, I don't know. But in cast, like her forehead? Was it her forehead or her, like the, the, the bridge of her nose? Something was really severe, but it doesn't matter. She is cute. That is all that matters. But let's go ahead. Oh, Lilith is probably here to see the baby too. Well, I think Lilith wants to talk to the child. I mean, it's so exciting. This is the first toddler in Generation 3. And what is she doing? Oh, she's showing Nate's flashcard. Oh, that's cute. She's spending time with the queen. That's adorable. Aww. But I think um, Lilith, since she is actually very close to Cynthia, would actually feel a bond with her daughter. And oh, it's nice that the butler's looking after Ursula. But, uh, oh, Lilith wants to take a bath. Well, fine. Morgana is dancing. You know what? Morgana's free, so you are the priestess, so you should go ahead, bounce the baby, talk to the baby, uh, rock the baby, and cuddle. 
no, doesn't want to do it, never mind. Okay, doesn't want to do it. I guess the butler is tending to the child, so that's fine and well. Jeez, butler, get out of the way. <laughs> we're trying to, we're trying to play with the baby, please, get out of the way. Okay, she, Morgana's gonna come up here, bounce uh, Ursula, talk to Ursula, and cuddle Ursula. I think that would be nice. I mean, we do know that there's some tension between um, Morgana and Cynthia, but at the same time, woman, what is happening with you? Go upstairs. You don't want to? You don't want, you don't want to? Well, if you don't want to, I'm not going to force you to. How are you doing? You know what? When Lilith is done with her bath, she's going to go and say hello to Ursula. Because, you know what, <laughs> she's actually friends with Cynthia and it would make more sense for me to send her to um, Ursula. So we're going to go ahead and do that. She's going to bounce, she's going to talk, and she's going to cuddle. That will be super cute. Okay, let's see. I like that. That's adorable. And Morgana's feeling flirty for some reason. Why the hell are you feeling flirty? Aw, look at this. So cute. So nice to have another baby. This is like the start of the season, so this is literally going to be baby season. Once we have six, seven babies, then we're going to stop and we're just going to focus on story and then basically aging up and prepping for the new heiress to take over. But uh, yeah, because it's the start of a new season. It's exciting! So many babies! Babies everywhere! Okay, this baby, I don't think babies show like their actual eye colors when they're young. So I don't know. I don't think that's how it works. They all have normal eye colors as a baby. And then as a toddler, it becomes vampire colored. And then as a child, you see their actual eye color. So it's quite interesting. But okay, she spent some time. I think the ladies are getting thirsty. Yeah, they are getting thirsty. Whose turn is it to call? I think it's Lilith's turn with the red fruits. We've got the gold fruits maybe you should call the red fruits yeah we'll do that let's start a gathering called the red um, blood banquet and everyone can have a little bit of a drink let's just quickly check if they're okay yeah I think they're okay so we're gonna call the red blood banquet have a little bit of a drink oh, oh, oh yeah the printing press I wanted to pop that down but where do I want to pop that down? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Should we do it upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs or downstairs? I don't know. Or should we do it for now in this little room? Because we, we do have an empty room, to be honest. So maybe this can be the downstairs library? Maybe I should turn this into like a downstairs library. I might. We'll see. But where is the printing press? Let's quickly try and find this thing. Printing press, electronics, computer. Where the hell is the printing press? Um, okay, we might have to go show all. Filter by custom content and then find this darn thing. Here we go, printing press. This is it, this is exactly it. Oh yeah, uh, I read the instructions. It said I need to have baby move objects on, otherwise it doesn't place. So move objects on, and what's the style down here? It is black, I guess. We have black and we have brown. Which one should I do, black or brown? Hmm, I'm confused now. We'll do brown, we'll do brown, the darker brown. So I'll pop this over here. Look at how cool that looks. This is just flipping amazing. Okay, so we've got this. It comes with a stool. So printing press, there's a stool. I don't know where the heck the stool is. Just bear with me for a second. This is the letter plate, which we pop right there between the, the metal sort of stuff. And that's, that's, that's the thing that functions as the actual computer. Um, where's the stool? I swear there was a stool. Hmm. Printing press chair. There we go. This is what I need. Printing press chair. Wonderful. Wait, is this where it's supposed to be? Or is it supposed to be here? I think? Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, we've got, really, I think this, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We have the printing press. Wonderful. That means our Sims can now use this. Oh, that's fun. Maybe I should put it sideways so we can see a lot better. I don't know. I kind of like it. Oh, it's so cool. I want someone to use it now. Ah, uh, can someone use it? <gasps> I think she should use it. Maybe every time we get her to make something new or write something new, she should like make it in a book. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But guys, with that said and done, I'm going to go off and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.